hasn't been that long. He was hey, injured stop, stop, a couple stop. weeks ago in Pittsburgh, but he was excited to get back out there. And Jonathan Williams goes. Williams inside the 20. Williams down at the 10, breaking through the line. And Williams with a career long run of 48 yards. Colts have eight runs of at least 10 yards. Jaguars only have nine runs the entire day. Fitzpatrick. Throws the interception at the 35-yard line. Darius Leonard with the ball. Darius Leonard to the end zone. No, no, no. They're bringing it back. There's two officials marking it down. But call him down at the 35-yard line. Well, al Kadeem Muhammad and Marcus Hunt were the ones that put pressure as Fitzpatrick tries to get to the backside. Well, to me, it sounded like the whistle was blowing as he was running towards the end zone. Do they have another comeback in them? 2-10 left. Hoyer, sideline throw. Great hands, Zach Pascal. He hauls it in for a first down. What a catch. Adjustment to a ball, underthrown. Does he get both feet down? Looks like a yes, left he, toe tap and yep, then the right. Absolutely, Ian. What a play by Zach Pascal. Zach Pascal, who has turned himself into a player undrafted out of Old Dominion and stepping into a larger role with the injury to T.Y. Hilton. Finished his career in Kansas City. Oh, and Body he thought he was, they were going to trade him and he said, why don't you just release me, give me an opportunity to sign with anybody and Mahomes is going to get sacked back at the 33-yard line. So Mahomes comes into the game having been sacked only three times all season. That's Kenny Moore who had two sacks in the playoff game last year who gets him down. Check out this move here. You're going to see him working against a tackle and Cameron Irving, who has him one on one and just mm. cannot get a hand on him. And so I'm sure that Kenny Moore is hurting after that injury to his knee, but his experience with those slot blitzes could make a big difference. We'll start from the gun here as they begin at their own 25. They're going to throw it on first down. Brissett up the field and it is caught. Incredible. Marcus Johnson, they're going to mark him down at around the 25-yard line. There is a penalty flag thrown. Defense number 15. Wow. 15-yard penalty will be added to the end of the play. 50 yards on the bomb by Brissett. That's ridiculous. You never see this in a two-minute drill when you're running it out. Marcus Johnson, that's just isolation on the safety. Jordan Whitehead just gets beat. He's the deep safety. And Brissett says, I'm just going to throw it up and let my guy go make a play. Third and 19. You're almost at the point where you want to get the ball out of your hands and just punt it away right now. Brissett, quick pass to Williams. Williams with room to run. He finds daylight into Jacksonville territory. As you said, James, they almost kind of... They only, listen to on the, that. they only listen to the first part about what I said. <laughs> but getting the ball out of your hands quickly and a great job with the two receivers that are in front of him, shielding blockers and looking at those offensive linemen. We talked about them getting down to that second level. That's exactly what they did. 31-yard play, the longest of the day for the Colts. Here they come. They protect Winston well. Goes to his check down out of the backfield. That is Dari Ogunbowale, but he's going to be well out. short. Football comes loose, and Indianapolis has it. And another disaster for the Bucks. Their second turnover in as many possessions. Rock is seen with the recovery. How about this Indianapolis defense? Two takeaways. It was George Odom who knocked it loose for the Colts. A big pressure. Here comes Rochette, got through, needs the 42 downfield. Caught on the play! Even that's a touchdown! Huge play, 48-yard touchdown pass by Brissette to Eric Ebron. Now it gets interesting. 
A little surprised they blitzed in that situation, Kevin. They got him on the fourth down. All they can do is get off the field. They decide to bring six. And with a mobile quarterback like Brissett, he's able to step up, elude the rush, and find a tight window between the corner and the safety. Harris tries to go for the ball, and that one is right in the breadbasket of Eric Ebron, who had 13 touchdown receptions a season ago for the Colts. Fourth and a long yard. Get the play off. Give it to Mack. Mack. Look at the way he just pushes his way for a first down. Boy, I tell you what, he is one of the best backs in the league. Braden Smith leading the way, the right tackle. Braden Smith, we haven't talked about him, but watch the patience here. You're going to see Mac just wait, wait, and actually assist in that block. Because once you add the second body weight in behind, it was sort of a neutral block position. Now you add the body weight of Mac going in there enough to push forward for that first down. Jacksonville last week, 42-20. First and 10. It's Henry getting a block out there from Ruan and from Johnny Smith. Oh, the ball's loose, and it's picked up by Hooker. A turnover on the first play. Big-time defensive play by the Colts. Well, Derrick Henry has fumbled four times already this season. That was his fifth. That's tied for second most. Only Chris Carson of the Seahawks has fumbled more. That's something that the Colts have been talking about all week. Good job there by Anthony Walker. He's going to punch it out with that left hand.